the flu fighters in the Battle of Planet Bogey. Last year, as you may recall, they came from the planet Bogey, a cold and lonely place full of bugs and grubs and germs and worms, far away in space. The invaders were called Chilly, Achy and Snotty and their mission was to make little earthlings feel grotty. They thought they would have it easy, making Wolverhampton's children sneezy. But our brave flu fighters and fearless nurse sent them packing across the universe. And now the story continues. In the control room at the heart of this story is our fearless flu nurse watching the universe in all its glory from the earth to the moon and the stars and back. She keeps an eye out for snot-filled aliens preparing to attack. Wait a second. What's this on camera one? Slimy monsters we all thought were long gone. It's chilly, achy, snotty and their gruesome friends. They failed last year and they want to make amends. The nurse zooms in to get a clearer sight and what she now sees gives her a terrible fright. It's their leader, Lord Fever, a foul-looking thing, gathering his troops like he was their king. You blew it last year. You let everyone down. You fools messed up and made me look like a clown. We can't fail this time, so I'm bringing in fresh troops. I need a stronger army, not a bunch of nincompoops. Let me introduce the new recruits joining us on our crusade. The flu twins, Wheezy and Sneezy, will definitely make the grade. With our army complete, it is time we all flew and set course for Earth to give its children the flu. <laughs> oh, cripes! Oh, no! It's happening again! The aliens are beginning their foul campaign! The nurse grabs her kit and heads out the door to round up her gang and prepare for war. The nurse arrives at school where the children are playing chase and shouts out, Those foul fiends are gathering in space! The aliens have mutated and want to give you the flu, but a quick squirt up your nose will stop them. It's true! Shields form around our heroes through which nothing can sneak. They've become flu fighters again with powers at their peak. With her team now ready, the nurse prepares to fight back and give Lord Fever and his ghastly gang a good smack. A quick squirt up the nose once a year is all it takes to help stop you getting the shivers and shakes. The spray has done its job and you're safe from the flu. So let's take the fight to the aliens and make them feel blue. Come on, friends. Climb aboard my rocket ship FF1. And in no time, we will get the job done. The rocket lifts off from its top secret base and zooms away to his destination far off in space. We'll make them splutter and sneeze and feel really bad. We'll make them shake and shiver and be very sad. But as Lord Fever rants and raves out of the corner of his eye, who does he spot coming out of the sky? It's our brave heroes in the FF1, ready to set their foes on the run. Fire! shouts the nurse, and the guns start to spray, squirting the aliens to keep the flu virus at bay. His army is getting beaten, and they're coming to grief. Attack! 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 roars the mad alien chief. Chilly, achy, snotty and the flu twins fight back. But our heroes are protected and easily give them a whack. We're shrinking! The aliens are stunned. The spray does the trick, shriveling them up quickety quick. Soon all that is left are small blobs of sticky gloop. And our heroic flu fighters all give a whack. Oh, the pain, the pain, 
simpers the alien lord as he looks on in shame at his defeated horde. All we wanted was to give everyone the flu, but it's you who've won and turned us into goo. Having beaten the baddies in tremendous style, the nurse looks at her team and gives them a big smile. Come on, gang, our job here is done. The fight is over. The battle is won. We'll be back next year. We must return home and protect all your friends. Because the fight against flu, it never ends. The spray will save them and keep the germs at bay. A quick squirt up the nose will save the day.